So after some testing, uh, second version is not having them go through a doorway with double numbers, but having two sets of the same numbers out here where they could touch either one as they go by like a buzzer. They touch it in order. So if they start at six, they would go seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five. So they don't have to start at one. As long as they go through everything and touch all 12 numbers in order, and of course, circling back from 12 to one. So I start them off doing solo work on their own scooters, practicing uh, the movement around. Uh, it's, a, it's a great workout for them and they'll touch everything in numerical order. And then I add in the partners after where they're doing the cooperative piece and helping each other get through. If you do have an odd number of students, you can always have one person pull two. It's definitely an extra challenge, but they really seem to enjoy it. So I, you can add to this in any way and it's just a great way to to really get the kids on the scooters for, for the younger crowd, helping them get that experience in. And here is just a quick way to adapt this for students that need help that would be in a, uh, maybe in a wheelchair or need a little extra support using, for me, the scooter holders. Uh, but there's other ways to, to uh, modify this as well for the special needs population. Some variations are counting by twos, they could count by threes, you could have them go by a specific color, call out a color and they have to touch that color. There's a lot of ways to modify something like this. And if, also if you don't have the cone toppers, the numbers like I have, which are pretty awesome, I suggest you get them at some point, but uh, you could also just put paper out connected to the cones with numbers on them. Cheap, easy way to do the same thing.